Hey everybody, welcome back to Rival Zone Gaming. Chris here, and in association with Early Access Gaming, we continue our Let's Review series with a game called Bon Bon. I know, Bon Bon. It's a sweet, right? It's also the name of a character in this game. And this game is a short horror story about your childhood. If you were a child in the 1980s, like me, I was. Back in the early 80s, houses did look a lot like this. And so did the toys. And there's something about this game that is really good. The attention to accuracy is amazing. The toys look just like they did back then. I am fairly sure I had at least two of the toys in this game um, of my own. And my uh, siblings and cousins and things like that, they had toys like them as well. So I am intimately familiar with, well, there's a giant teapot in there at one point. And my cousin had one of those. And I recognized it the second I saw it. That's how detailed this game is. It's by a company called... Uh, I'm going to probably get this wrong, uh, wrong sorry. Uh, Arithic Games. I will put the link to their website in the description below because these people really deserve your attention. The detail that comes through in the graphics, um, in the audio, and in how the game is actually played is really, really good. The controls are very, very simplistic because you play as a child. A small child. I don't know whether you're a boy or a girl. Um, maybe that's just how you play it de uh, determines that. But um, I don't want to get too much into the detail about the game because, quite simply, it's a very short game. It's about 20 to 40 minutes long, depending on how quickly you play. Um, but quite simply, you um, you hear your mother giving you instructions. You're a child, of course you're not on your own. Um, and you have to do certain things. Now I'll go through the first level um, in the gameplay that will shortly come up. Um, but it's what happens as, as you continue on that kind of puts you on edge. Um, it's called a horror game. I don't think it's actually like horror horror because you are a child. So I don't think they're going to do like a Resident Evil on you or anything like that. Um, but if you look at the title of the game here, up in the screen, you'll notice it's kind of jagged, which is a really nice effect that I've only just noticed. Um, but anyway, we're going to go straight into the kind of the options that you have and then the gameplay itself. Because it's it's really something that you have to experience to to understand. Um, controls are extremely simple: mouse, keyboard, or gamepad. You can actually use a gamepad with this, which I, I thought was absolutely brilliant. Um, I do have one, but I'm sticking with the mouse and the keyboard um, simply for well, I'd have to reset up my gamepad. So. <laughs> So I probably should have just walked straight past that, but I didn't. Um, but you can use a gamepad if you have one, um, and it does work very, very well. Um, options are very simplistic. Um, quite simply, the game is graphics intensive. Um, it did take a little while for it to boot up the first time for me. Um, I had to move things a little around. There is a, a head bob for when you move. Um, and you can scale it down if you do get motion sickness because it can be quite disconcerting to begin with. Um, but yeah, there's no worries or anything at all. It's very, very straightforward. Just click what you want, apply changes, see if it works. So there you go, that's that sorted. Um, but enough with me rabbiting on. Let's go play Bon Bon. And here we are. This dog thing, I had one of those. I did. So, it's quite simple. Mouse moves the uh, camera around. And it's like you've, you're moving your head. Um, these houses, I know 
Play like that. Play with all the dog. You can talk to your dog if you want. Um, I don't know if it's just my computer, but it might just be my audio settings. It never seems to sound right. I don't know if it's been designed that way to do that. But we're going to give him a big push. There you go. Um, these houses, um, they're called council houses in the UK. Um, and they're kind of built en masse, which means everybody in the neighbourhood, the houses are set out the same, which kind of builds like a community thing. Everyone's working in the same kind of sizes and shapes and things like that. But anyway, let's have a wander around. Outside, love. Don't leave your new balls outside, you'll lose them. Okay, so we've got to go and uh, find our balls that we've been playing with and get them back inside. Now, that's fairly straightforward. I happen to know there's one behind this tree. There's one. Now, you have to make sure you're clear when you pick the balls up. Um, just wait for the cursor to go on screen. There you go. Look at that smiley face. Okay, and then you just got to throw it towards... <laughs> Throw it towards the uh, the house because you've got to get in the door. It is a child's game, so there you go. But, ah, go over the bar, you. Maybe I need to get closer. Okay, let's walk towards the ball. No, back that way. Ah, come back here. There you go. Right, over we go. Oh, it almost went inside. Go back inside. Don't come this way. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to just do this because it's quick and easy. All right. Now, there's two more. Do, do, do. Through the caterpillar. No. Nope. I used to have one of these when I was younger as well. You basically hang, hold on to the, the ears. It's meant to be a bear. You hold on to the ears and then you sit on it and you bounce along the floor. Space operas, I think they're called. So cool. Um, right. Now, as you probably guessed, there's another ball. And we're going to meet Bon Bon. You ready? Here we go. Just listen to the noise. Um, I'm hoping you can hear that in the background. It's, it's a really weird, eerie sound. And yes, it is moving. It's a giant rat. Okay, let's get that up there. Oh, come on. You won't believe me. I was actually doing this no problem without any fuss. <laughs> you can't move. Come, Come back here. Come here. You can't move when you've got something in your hand. It's really annoying. At the same time, it's really clever because it means you have to actually think about things. Whoa! Did he knock us down? How did he do that? Dum dum dum. Come back here. All right. All right. No, nope, that didn't work, did it? Come on. Come on. Up oh, and over. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Come back here. All right. Oh, that's a nice little cat. All right. Let's grab it. Come on. In the door. Okay, go find one more. That always makes me jump slightly. <laughs> and look what he's got in his hand. It's our last ball.
Thank you. Come back here, ball. Come back here. Stop. Stop rolling away, ball. It's okay. He's not following us. We're okay. Come back here. Oh. <laughs> it's it's a very disconcerting little game because we're going to get close to him now. No, 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 don't go. You can't run. That's another thing. But because you are such like just just a child. Come back. There's only a couple of controls you need to use like walk so move around, pick up the ball, throw the ball. Have the ball bounce off a step, come back to you, do it again. Okay, come back here, that's it, right. right let's chase it down this time. Can, can we have the ball please? Okay, that's just weird. Go in. Done. Stop looking at me. Time to go inside. I'm in. And that is the first level. So very, very quick, very easy to do. Um, that's the teapot I was talking about. So cool. Um, but yeah, that's the first level. It goes on from there and things happen. I don't want to elaborate too much because I don't want to spoil it. Um, the game itself is very cheap. Uh, whether you're talking euros, you're talking dollars, or you're talking pounds, it's less than two. And for a 40 minute game, or even a 20 minute game, less than two of your currency, it's pretty damn awesome. Um, so, if you're not into kind of scary-ish games, give it a miss. Um, but if you do like that kind of thing, if you like that kind of weirdness, then I, I wholeheartedly um, advise you give this a go. They've done an excellent job of making the tension just work just right. Um, there's a couple of little scares here and there. I mean, I don't like scary games myself. I'm much more of an RTS or a first person shooter. Um, I did this because my editor said, give it a go, Chris. You know, Expand your horizons, you might like it. Um, and he was absolutely right. This was just something completely outside my wheelhouse. And it's amazing what they've done. But anyway, that is Bonbon. Bon. Um, that's about it. That's, I can't really go into any more detail because you're going to find out about the story then and that's just not right. Um, yeah, so this is where we're going to end the uh, review. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to give uh, Early Access Gaming's website a try. Um, just type in Early Access Gaming into Google and you will get their website link. Um, they have got reviews on all sorts of games that are in Early Access or in demo. There are some that are even actually available on Steam right now. Um, but they give you a completely non-biased view of what the games are like. Just like Bonbon. Bon. But anyway, you lot take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.